Happy 11-11, November 11th portal. And in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about making use of this portal, what energies are coming through, and also the justice card of the tarot. So, uh, November 11th portal. So far, we are right in the middle of it. It opens a couple days before, it's still open a little bit after. And in general, this time of year, the veil is quite thin between our conscious and our subconscious. The veil is quite thin between um, our material world and the spirit world. And if you have been having really powerful dreams that contain imagery or people or situations that uh, you might not have been connected to or thought of in a long time. That's part of the energy of the portal that we are in. And so I want to talk about the Justice cards. I pulled the Justice card of the Tarot twice this week, two days in a row, and I was going to make a video about it, and then something told me to wait until November 11th. In many traditions, the Justice card of the Tarot is card number 11. And to top things off, I was walking down the street on Tuesday, and I leaned over to pick up this colorful card, and it's actually, somebody dropped a tarot card, kind of crumpled from being in the rain, uh, and it's the justice card. And I looked up this word on the bottom, and it is justice in Russian. Okay, so the justice card wants to speak to us. And I'm just going to pull up the card so you can look at it. Okay, here she is. Okay. So as you can see, she's got a sword in one hand, and we have the, and she's got the scales of justice in the other hand. So we have um, the option, the opportunity to use the sword of our mind and of our will at this time. And cycles... Uh, maybe repeating patterns of the same type of person or the type, same type of situation that have been showing up over and over in our life sometimes come to the surface from our subconscious during a portal. If you notice that you're attracting the same type of person into your life, whether it's a friend or a partner or um, something like that, and every time the same type of person shows up, your response or your reaction is, less than your higher self, let's say. During the portal, <laughs> we have an opportunity to shift the way that we respond to that type of person or that type of situation um, and respond a little bit differently, something that's a, little, a response that's a little bit more aligned with our higher self. But in order to do that, we have to use that sword of our will, our mind, to make that decision. It's not so much about our feelings. It's, it's more of a... Um, a direct inner shift. Am I going to be putting the same type of energy and focus into this repeating pattern, this repeating situation, this repeating type of person? Or am I going to um, kind of take that sword and move my will and my mind into a different direction? Something that's going to reflect where I want to see myself after this portal. Um, she holds the scales as well. And so with the scales, we can take this chance to look into our life and weigh up, is something too heavy? Maybe it wasn't heavy six months or a year ago. Maybe it was perfect. Is something too light? Like, am I putting energy and focus into a situation or a person where it's really just kind of a waste of time at this point? Like, it's not good for any party. Um, where maybe it was meaningful in the past, but... Those scales allow us to do a little bit of a weighing. And if you're not sure about, oh, like, what what could I be weighing right now? Um, pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your med meditations. And if nothing's coming to you intuitively, pay attention to who and what is showing up in the last couple of days and will continue to show up in the next couple of days. And just see if there those types of people or those situations and opportunities need to have a reckoning, need to have the scales of the justice archetype reassess their role in your life. When we uh, make decisions, make statements, make inner shifts during the 11-11, 
we have the energy of the universe at our back. So we get an extra um, spirit of the wind, you could say, that goes along with what we're deciding, what we're changing, and what we're shifting. And so even for me personally, there's an email that I, I know has been in the back of my mind that I need to write to somebody. And I was going to write it a couple days ago, but I'm going to wait till tomorrow because um, I've thought about it, what I want to say, and it's going to have more emphasis if I am going to be sending it, you know, right on this portal. So if you have just something that is kind of been um, procrastinated <laughs> up until now, I would encourage you to get on whatever that is on, on November 11th or at least the 12th while we're, while we're in this portal. So be mindful to that set of scales and whatever's entering your sphere right now, whatever requests you're getting from other people, invitations, um, just take a pause before saying yes or no and give it a day or so to get weighed up to see how your body feels about these kinds of things because what we're allowing in, what we're saying yes to during a portal is kind of getting <laughs> solidified to be part of our life over the next few months or the next, yeah, over the next few months. So just think twice, you know, you might want to say, let me think about that and get back to you. And that way you are becoming a little bit more of a master of what is going to be entering or not entering your life in the next season. Um, yeah, and definitely pay attention to your dreams. If you are someone who can remember your dreams, you should probably um, be expecting, if you haven't already, to be having some pretty powerful dreams. And to not dismiss them if they are a little bit confusing, maybe a little bit chaotic. There's going to be something there. So um, definitely write them down. Definitely, if, even if they're not making sense, write down like a few of the things that you've seen in those dreams that you're seeing and just allow those to kind of percolate in case the answers come to you. Maybe you start seeing in real life some of those things in the next couple of days. So that's one way that you can work with your dreams during this time. And another thing is, um, it's not unusual for a person to experience pretty big changes or tragedies or tower moments during a portal. If you've had something that has been shocking or surprising or extremely sudden happen in the last couple of days, or if you have anything like that happen in the next couple of days, um, then <laughs> as tragic and difficult as it is, know that you are in the energy of a portal and the energies of the universe are acting for your greatest good, regardless of what it seems like on the outside. Um, one of the worst things that I've ever experienced happened on November 11th, <laughs> one year. I was in a very physically violent situation where I was trapped in a room, and um, that ended up becoming some of my greatest post-traumatic growth, that I, more than I ever could have imagined. I'll actually I'll link the video where I talk about that um, in the description if you want to hear more about it. But... Just to say that <laughs> we can be brought things that we weren't expecting, good or bad, or <laughs> challenging or seeming like a blessing during a portal. And it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you if you are having a very sudden tragedy go on right now, or if anything very sudden and unexpected does happen to show up, um, to just be encouraged to know that in a roundabout way, one day, these things can really be for you. They can really be for you. And <laughs> when they happen during a portal like the 1111, they often have like a big amplification, a big bang to them. So to not be afraid, but to, um, and not to shrink back, but to step forward into whatever happens to be showing up for you right now. And lastly, I wanted to mention that in the tarot, um, the next card is the Hermit card in, um, in the 
Tarot of Marseille, at least. I'm not sure about the other traditions, but in this book, it comes next. So, sometimes after working with the energy of justice and weighing things up and making some inner shifts as far as what we want to keep and what we are finished with during the portal, don't be surprised if you find yourself in the energy of the hermit, taking some quiet time, some reflection time, some reclusive time after the portal. Because even if you're not noticing some huge, big thing happen in your regular world or in your inner world, um, things are sometimes going on in the background that we're not aware of. We might be up to something in the dream world that we don't remember the next day, but that's actually changing our energetic body, changing our energetic field. And so if after November 11th, you feel like you're going into a little bit more of a, yeah, just a reclusive time, a reflective time that you weren't expecting, um, there's nothing unusual about that. There's nothing, so just just take advantage of the flow of the, of the, uh, the energy here. So I think that's all about the uh, November 11th. Um, may the force be with you and uh, may you journey well through the portal and not miss anything that the spirit world, that your subconscious is trying to bring through for you.